Hello. Uh, today uh, we're going to do a video uh, installing the drivers for a wire uh, for a USB wireless device. This video will show how to install the drivers for a USB wireless device, the Asus USB 13. <clears throat> the Asus USB 13 wireless device will be installed on CentOS 6.4. I have previously installed this on lower versions of CentOS 6. This wireless device has come in handy when I was at a motel studying for a Linux course and was using a desktop machine. This wireless device provided the capability of having an internet connection on the desktop machine at the motel. Additionally, this can be used in the event you have a laptop with a wireless device that is not supported by Linux drivers. This provides a relatively inexpensive and quick way to get wireless connectivity. Okay, without further ado, let's take a look at what's involved. I've plugged in the, uh, uh, the, USB, or the Asus USB 13 device into my USB port. And let's take a look at my USB devices. So I'll do an LSUSB, and you can see down here um, that uh, we have a thing called the USB 13, it's the Asus Tech, and uh, <clears throat> it's running a Realtek driver, uh, RTL8192CU, and so what we need to do is we need to go out and get the driver. Uh, this does not, uh, if, if I come up here and click on my network manager, you can see I don't have any wireless connections here, so it's not it's not picking up wireless connections. So what we can what I do or what I did was I went and I Googled uh, Realtek uh, RTL 8192CU driver, and it came up with a uh, place to download drivers from Realtek. So I'll go ahead and click on the uh, download, and it will pop up a uh, window and if you remember we're looking for uh, 8192CU and we'll move on down here and see what we see and that's not the 8190 yeah 8192 is what I'm looking for so I'm going to keep scrolling down until I see 8192CU there's SC, there's SU, SU, uh, RTL 8192CU. This is the one I'm looking for. And I'm going to come down here, and there's a, um, a link here for the uh, US. So I'll just go ahead and click on that link. And it comes up here with a, um, oops. It comes up here with a download screen, and um, I've set my uh, Firefox to ask me where to download. I want to put this on my desktop inside a folder. So I'm going to hit Browse to Other Folders, Desktop, and I'm going to create a folder. And I'm just going to call this Realtek. And then I'm going to save this file into that Realtek folder and that download finished okay and I don't need my browser anymore and so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that now I'm in the desktop here so if I do an LS I see a Realtek folder so I'm going to CD into the Realtek folder and now I'm going to unzip this Realtek file hit R in my tab key and it will auto complete and I'll hit enter. Okay, and then I see that blue uh, thing. There's a directory, so I'll say cd r and then a dash, and put in an eight, and then I auto complete the directory name. And um, now you can read the readme.txt file that you see here. If you go into document, um, and then you do events and uh, quick start for 
driver compilation and installation it pulls up actually a very nice uh, document here uh, telling you how to install uh, I've read that already so I'm just showing you that for informational purposes um, and to install uh, what you can do and what's worked for me is I type sh install.sh and I sit back now you do have to have GCC the kernel headers and the kernel devel um, uh, packages installed and it will go ahead and compile here so far everything is looking good and it looks like it's trying to install okay let's come up here and see what we see in network manager ah now we see wireless connections so this had uh, just by typing that install dot uh, sh install dot sh um, that we just did a minute ago that installed uh, the wireless drivers I have a wireless router called granny so I'll go ahead and click on that and let me try um, my put my key in bear with me as I slowly type let's see if it takes my t my key okay it looked like looks like granny worked granny's now uh, a connection I'm going to disconnect my wired connection okay and that disconnected the wire connection so now I, all I have is my wireless and we'll just confirm this works and I'll say uh, www.lehigh.edu and there it pulls up the lehigh.edu website okay that's all it takes to install the uh, ASUS USB 13 uh, wireless driver and get it working and there's a little pretty blue light flashing away okay I hope this was helpful and uh, thank you for listening